In this lesson, we are going to look at how to add a calculated control onto a form. A calculated control is in an unbound control. It is not linked to the data in the table. I have a form on the screen, a properties form. It's got the town, the city, and the type of premises. I want to add a new here of the price. So we need to switch into design view. And then if I bring up the field list, I can add the price field just by clicking and dragging onto the form. We'll have a look and see what that looks like. I do like to switch frequently just to make sure things are coming along in which, the way in which I expect them to. So there's my price field and there's the price of the property. Looking good. Back to design view then. As an estate agent, I want to charge a 10% commission on the value of the property. I don't want to store this value because it will just increase the size of the database. I want to calculate it and by doing a calculated control it will always reflect the, the true commission based on the change in price of the property. To add a calculation we're going to use the toolbox and a text box. It's the text box that allows us to add data onto the form. Whether or not the data is linked to the original table is the bit that makes it bound or unbound. So just by clicking and dragging the text box, we're creating an unbound control. It automatically creates a label for you, text 23. That's not very useful, so we'll change that. Let's have a look at the properties. And you can see the name is label 24. The caption is text 23. It's the caption I want to change. So we'll delete that and call it commission. As soon as I come out of the box, you'll see the label has changed. It now reads commission. Remember on the properties, we looked at this in the last video, have a good look at what's possible on the properties of each object. See if any of them are going to be useful for you. For example, if I can find it, we can make the label itself visible or not visible. I'm going to leave it visible. Finish with the properties for that. So we're coming into the text box now. And this works rather like a spreadsheet in that because we want a calculation, we're going to start with the equal sign. Now I want to take the, the price of the property and calculate 10% of that property for my commission. So I need to know the price. Now price is a field, so I can use that name provided I put it inside square brackets. Just be careful, you really have to match the, the syntax, the way in which that is written with the name of the actual field. If I type this with a lowercase p or put prices, it wouldn't work. It's got to match perfectly. And then I can do my normal mathematical operands, multiplied by 10 divided by 100 to calculate 10%. So let's have a look and see what that does for us. In form view, there's the price of the property. The commission is 5,000, 10% of the price. Next property, 75,000 for the price, commission 7,500. And of course, if we change the price, Let's make that 85,000. Then the commission is automatically updated, but it's not stored anywhere, so it's not increasing the size of the database. 8,500 doesn't look very good. Let's see if we can alter the formatting. Remember, we can alter the properties from any view. So here I've got the properties, and we can alter the formatting. We could perhaps make it currency 
or euro style currency will do for me and once we change the currency just move that out of the way so you can see it's currency underneath then we can perhaps do the number of decimal places and change it to no decimal places yeah that looks about right now remember always look at the rest of the properties to see if any of them can be of any use to you I'm finished with changing the properties so that's a fairly simple calculation that we've done switch back into design view you could put any kind of calculation in there you could do calculations based on more than one field but you can also use the expression builder let's just delete what's inside there and bring up the properties of the unbound object remember we can change all these properties as well where the control source is if we click in the control source remember the control source is the source of the data that has to go into into this field we've got these three dots at the end this allows us to bring build up the expression builder a fearsome little tool this not easy to get to grips with let's look at it at its simplest level first you've got lots of objects down the left hand side some of them expand up to show different things inside them I'll leave it on properties for the moment the properties of the uh, object that we've got selected is the form and if I click on the field list it brings up a list of the available fields in the right hand side so I can click on price or double click on price and it puts the price field in the building section of the expression builder and then I can either type in or use these icons here to build up my expression so let's try price divided by two this time we'll okay that see it's put it in the control source close that down and that in turn because it's a control source puts it into the control into the object let's have a look and see what that does for us yep price is divided by two So remember these are called calculated controls we have an unbound text box to put our formula in we can type in our simple formulas or if we bring up the properties we can look at the control source and the expression builder I showed you a fairly simple one there but just to show you that they are possible we've got functions built into this as well so if I double click the functions tab and then built in functions there are masses and masses of functions that you can use to help do your calculations some financial ones and mathematical ones and you use it in much the same way as I've just shown you if you want to know more about this have a look at the help file on the expression builder.